He has to be somewhere. You can't vanish. Those who know Marty Nance aren't giving up. They've printed dozens and dozens of flyers. They're searching on foot and on bikes looking for answers. We don't know what's happened, so we need to find any clue we can. Nance, who's 49, was a full-time air guardsman for close to 30 years. Over a week ago, family found his car in southeast Portland. The next day, he didn't show up for a guard drill, the first time he's missed one in three decades. Family says that's not like him. Now, the search is on. People have traveled from Seattle and the coast. Lisa Weber, who's Nance's sister, says she's overwhelmed with the people who have showed up to help. Today, they searched for him a third time, focusing on Selwood and the Oaks Bottom Wildlife Refuge. Weber says she has reason to believe her brother is still in the area. What we know is that he's still missing and we don't have a whole lot of clues. While she's appreciative of the help of friends and family in the search, Fieber says she feels like she's left doing everything herself. That's where the problem comes in, is that the professionals aren't taking an active role in this search. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office has pointed out that there's not much they're able to do since there aren't any signs of foul play. But Fieber says she needs help. So guess what? He served our country for 32 years. Now it's time for them to serve him and find him. For now, she's relying on some of his Air National Guard brothers and isn't giving up. The family says if you have any information on Nance, you're asked to call the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office.